Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Dennis back at it again with another video and today we'll be doing a very special video. Today we will be doing part 2 of Battle of the Battle Station. Yes lads, part 2. Lads and ladies, um, so the rewards for this uh, competition will be some cash and of course um, a special gift of my Olivetti Tropical um, typewriter that I've used in my ASMR video, fully working as you can see. So uh, yeah, make sure to also keep up with what I post on my Instagram at TechCutOfficial up here and make sure to like and subscribe to motivate me to make other videos like these anyway guys yes cue the intro um terribly sorry um but um Also guys, I also wanted to tell you, do you like my hair? The beard virus is actually out now, so I was thinking to uh, play with my hair a bit, uh, change my hairstyle, um, have a look at myself and change some things about me, because no one's not going to really see me in, in public. So yeah guys, tell me what you think, drop a comment down below what you think of my weird hairstyle. Anyway guys, yeah, play this up. Alright, so our contestants for this episode are Joe, Oakley and Luca. Good luck to you three, and winner will be announced on my Instagram at TechCutOfficial. Alright, so first up we have Joe. Joe is a student and he is 12 years old, so he hasn't got a job yet, but his setup looks pretty decent. Alright, so first uh, he has two Xbox One controllers, then they're both on the Venom controller dock, which um, he didn't tell me yet, but I figured out from the picture. And also he has a HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset, and his mic of choice is a newer NW800 mic. Very nice. And what I like that he put effort in this up is that he used a couple of potted plants like cactuses to make it look better. So now his mouse of choice is the Corsair M65 Pro Gaming Laser Mouse and his keyboard of choice is a Mechanical Technect X705 Gaming Keyboard. A very nice choice and pretty budget while he's also going for performance wise as well. Now what is left on his desk is a Philips monitor, an Acer monitor, an Amazon Echo um, and his RGB unbranded mouse mat. Now also Joe has a very nice looking PC as you can see right here. So the PC has um, an Intel Core i5 6600K and he, the cooling fan is Be Quiet Rock Slim and for his graphics card it's the Zotac 1660 Ti. Well, he also has a Western Digital Blue one terabyte hard drive, an 120 gigabyte SSD, two Corsair fans, and all that in the NZXT H500 PC case. Now, the cable management isn't really the best. Um, he did try to uh, hide the cables away a bit, but he, he should have used a cable box and saved some of the money that he spent to set up on, on some cable management tools, like even the cable box or a cable raceway to hide away the cables. Um, because it's the time of the, this year, it's actually April 2020, so you can't really go out and buy some, but try to use some homemade materials and try to make your own cable um, hideaways. But yeah, a really good setup, uh, Joe, and I wish you good luck. Now, this is Luca. Luca is a streamer and comes all the way from Germany. So kudos to you, Luca. This is his gaming and streaming setup where he plays Fortnite, not just for his, but for other people's entertainment. Very nice, Luca. Now, his peripherals are the Logitech G502 Bluetooth mouse, the HyperX Cloud 2 um, gaming headset, and a PS4 controller. And his keyboard of choice is the Ducky 1-2 Mini gaming keyboard. Now, the cable management is not really the best since each cable uh, can be seen really easily, but at least it's a bit cleaner and it doesn't go all over the place, so the cables are actually arranged at this point. A uh, cable rack to hang from your table would be a really good idea so you can store your cables and put them away well. But, anyways, Luca, your setup looks amazing and I wish you good luck. 
Right, so next up we have Oakley, I think, yes. So Oakley has a lounge setup which he calls the Real Oakley. Yes, um, so on his nightstand, I think it is, yeah, um, he has an original PS4 and a mini SNES and mini Sega Mega Drive. Not only that, but he also has a Nintendo Switch, which is the 128 gigs model. And not forgetting the two PS4 controllers. Now the TV type is a Sharp TV. Yes, he uses his uh, Sharp TV to play his consoles on. Now for cable management, it's not really that bad, besides this bit of cable just sticking out here. It's my only complaint that I have. So he also has an Oculus Quest with uh, written down specs. So his version has the um, OLED display panels, which is 1440 by 1600 pi, which is more than the uh, before Rift, which has a 72 hertz refresh rate, and a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835, which you get from um, most um, gaming phones these days, four gigs of RAM and the lithium iron battery which is about two to three hours of playtime also includes uh, about six degrees of freedom i think it is yes and it has head and hand tracking so yeah that is all for the setup really nice setup hopefully i wish you good luck that is all for today's video make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell to see what i will be uploading but anyways yes um make sure to also follow my um instagram at tech Cut official uh, because that's where i will announce the winner this sunday stay tuned guys